There are quite honestly hundreds of superheroes in the Marvel Universe that I can remember from the top of my head. Superheroes like Spider-Man, Black Panther, Squirrel Girl, Thor, Howard the Duck, Darman, and wait, who is this guy? Oh, that's right. He's a superhero nobody can remember, and he goes by Forget-Me-Not. He's actually a founding member of the X-Men, and his mutant ability is to literally be forgotten. Kind of like the spell used to wipe Peter's existence from the world back in No Way Home, but it's kind of just all the time. In the sense where you could literally talk to this guy for hours, and the second you look away from him, you wouldn't remember a single thing he said. You wouldn't even remember if he existed. He's sort of like a corrupted save file in your brain, you can just never really recover it. It's quite sad to be honest, because Forget-Me-Not has saved the world countless times from evil alongside the X-Men, and he's never been given the proper recognition he so rightfully deserves. Until today, because I'm gonna tell you Forget-Me-Not's story. If I can remember it. <laughs> but first, a word from our sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is an awesome free-to-play RPG mobile game which features collectively over 600 characters and the list keeps growing in the world of Teleria. It's a deeply enriched story with an incredible campaign and also has several different game modes featuring PvE campaigns, PvE dungeons, PvP arenas, the list goes on. So far my favorite faction to play as is Probably the High Elves. Their backstory is actually pretty incredible, spanning over thousands of years, fighting off lizard men empires, and battling with orcs throughout many years. And reading their backstory, I thought it was just too cool, so I had to play as them. And out of the faction, I picked the Marksmen because I love picking characters that use bows. And this month, they also just released a new update featuring a brand new faction called the Sylvan Watchers, including several new characters as well. Also, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get your exclusive in-game rewards right now. So this is the best of time as any to get into Raid. And if you follow the link in my description or scan my QR code, you can unlock bonuses worth up to $30. You'll unlock the free Epic Champion Vergus, 200k in silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost, and 1 Ancient Shard to get you ahead of the curve in the game. So what are you waiting for? All this treasure is sitting here just for you, and it's that easy. So just click the link or scan the barcode, and I'll see you in the game. Now back to your regularly scheduled content. As we start the story, we see a person in disguise, stuck, trying to breach the psychic wall, protecting the X-Mansion, pleading for help, but no one's there to help, except Forget-Me-Not comes to the rescue, stating that he's an X-Man. However, the girl doesn't buy it, as she's never heard of him, continuing to pull her arm out of the wall. But looking back, she gets startled as she completely forgot who he was, so they end up reintroducing themselves all over again while Forget-Me-Not removes the girl's helmet. In Forget-Me-Not taking off the helmet, it's revealed that she suffered a tragic disfigurement caused by a boy who, when rejected, attacked her while she was walking home one night. The boy went up burning half of her face, and after so many surgeries, she would eventually come forward to the police about what happened. However, upon doing this, the city would end up gaslighting her and favoring the boy's side instead. And now, everywhere the girl goes, she sees disgust on everyone's faces, including her parents. Proceeding to tell Forget-Me-Not that this is the very reason why she came to the X-Mansion, so that she could be accepted and not be the most interesting person in the room all the time. Hearing this, Forget-Me-Not is stunned, so hearing her story, and to stop the barrier from killing her, he comes up with the idea to tell his story instead. But the girl ends up just getting a little bit pissed off because she just wants this to be over with, saying that all she's ever wanted was to just blend in and never be noticed, but Forget-Me-Not finds it funny because all he's ever wanted in life was to be noticed. So going further, he begins to tell his tale starting during a war at Fortress X. During this war, Forget-Me-Not was one of the most vital members because he could essentially just walk into the battlefield and become a blur. However, this would also affect affect his team as well, meaning that he could very well become victim to friendly fire or just left behind. And no matter how many times he may have been left behind and helped others back to the base, or told his commanders like Magneto of the dangers the war was causing, no one could remember him at all. So Forget-Me-Not started to feel saddened, like his life was just overall pointless. Until over time, he started changing his outlook and saw that maybe if he was never going to be remembered, he could help the people that will be remembered and live through them. Meanwhile, back in the present day, the girl screams in pain, asking if he could go get help, but Forget-Me-Not tells her that even if he leaves, she'll forget about him and be eaten by the wall. So to pass the time, she asks Forget-Me-Not about the X-Men, to which Forget-Me-Not would reply that there's really not much to say. But what's funny is that he was a crucial member of the X-Men, but no one could ever remember him, so he was always just a void in the team. And sometimes, when the X-Men were almost defeated and a foe seemed too much of a challenge, out of pure luck they would overcome said threat, never knowing it was actually Forget-Me-Not who saved 
saved them and the world countless times. And for the longest time, no one remembered him, until Professor X created a mental alarm clock in his mind every hour to remember Forget-Me-Not, giving Forget-Me-Not the hope he so desperately needed. But after the day Cyclops would end up killing Professor X, this would end up snuffing out whatever hope Forget-Me-Not had, causing himself to question if his power was really worth the trouble in the end. These feelings would even get so bad at one point that Forget-Me-Not would seek out a mutant who could absorb his power, rendering him a normal person who could finally be remembered. And desperately, he would try to convince that mutant to take his power away so he could take his curse away as well. But the mutant and his friend would try to reason with him, saying that they would hate it if they lost the thing that made them special, even if it was a power like Forget-Me-Nots. And even if Forget-Me-Not were to lose his powers, he wouldn't be special anymore, and he really wouldn't be able to help people in need. But during their talk, it soon gets interrupted by a villainous Cyclops, causing a huge fight to ensue between the two groups. But as the two groups start to fight, Forget-Me-Not gets the idea that they could end this peacefully if one of the mutants takes his power, making Cyclops and his group forget them entirely. So the pair of heroes use their powers together, and in a huge flash of light, Cyclops and his group forget all about the fight they just had and are left confused. Afterwards, the heroes discuss Forget-Me-Not's situation, and that if he really goes through with this, there won't be any second chances. So with that, Forget-Me-Not walks off to think. But while doing so, the pair of heroes forget about Forget-Me-Not and go off to get food. But by that point, Forget-Me-Not changed his mind and realized that it's better to do something that matters and not be noticed than the other way around. And funny enough, now that very decision that he made so long ago has led him to helping this girl get out of this psychic wall that's slowly eating her alive. And with Forget-Me-Not being the hero that he is, he knocks her out of the wall while also taking her place instead to let her go free. The girl, completely stunned by his heroism, tries to take his place, but Forget-Me-Not tells her that she's ready to take on the world, and that after everything she's been through, she's ready to be herself, and not give a fuck about whoever stares at her. And before she leaves with tears in Forget-Me-Not's eyes, he tells her that no matter how big or small, the way the world sees you isn't nearly as important as how you see the world, and that everything adds up in time so go do something incredible. And right as she starts to leave, telling Forget-Me-Not that she'll go find help, as she turns around, she completely forgets about him. And at the same time, while she's a little bit confused, she gets a call from her mother, picking up the phone to explain that she just got overwhelmed with everything that's going on, and left. But also that she's changed her mind about moving, and she wants to face her problem head on, and not run away from it. Meanwhile, around the corner, Forget-Me-Not listens on, hearing her tell her mother that she'll be okay. And Forget-Me-Not smiles ending the story. I hope you guys like the story. It is kind of bittersweet, but I enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.